Hi there, I'm Max Pollock from Eightfold Property and I'm here today to talk to you about how retail premises are valued uh, using the zoning process. Many people get confused um, and don't quite understand how uh, premises um, are valued with retail where they'll quite often approach me and ask why a smaller shop um, is more valuable than a larger shop in, in the same street. The reason for this is that you value uh, commercial retail premises based on the, uh, the front section having the greatest value. So giving some understanding into this, uh, what we use is a process called zoning, which gives you your zone A area, also known as an ITZA. What we have is the zone A area is the first 20 foot of the shop going back, and then you have a, a zone B area that goes beyond that, and the zone C further beyond that. Now your zone A area will be at the 100% rate, zone B will be at 50%, zone C at 25% and so on. Where we have first floor areas and basements that, that come with retail premises, uh, what we'll also do is look at those and attribute certain values to those as well. Basements are normally 1 16th, whilst uh, first floor uh, 1 10th and second floor 1 20th. This will vary, different agents will take different approaches on those sort of values. So by doing this, we create the ITZA area, um, which is then multiplied by the zone A rate for that area. For instance, we might have a, a location um, sort of in Duke Street, Brighton, where the zone A area might be in the order of £150. If the total ITZA area was uh, hypothetically, let's say, 100 units, we would multiply uh, the two figures together to get the final rental value of the property. So in some instances, what we can actually end up with is a larger shop, which is actually cheaper than a smaller shop in a similar location due to the, the layout of the property. Uh, for instance, if you've got a long, narrow shop, it may very well end up cheaper than a, a shop that's got a lot of frontage, but not a great deal of debt because that, that front part of the shop is the most valuable part. So as a rule of thumb, quite often, um, it will be the case that if a shop has got a uh, larger frontage, it will be more expensive than other premises in that location with a smaller frontage, but, but quite possibly uh, a greater floor space. So when it comes to selling a property, the value of this can also uh, be influenced by the zone A rate. What we will do as valuers is quite often um, apply a yield to the potential rental income of a property. So where a property's uh, value is dictated by the, the zone A levels, as I say again, this will impact on the, the value of the freehold or long leasehold interest that the owners may wish to sell. I'm Max Pollock, uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.